Hi, Gary Smith here. Let's talk about how you measure opportunity win rates in Salesforce. It's a critical thing to measure because if I could only drive one metric to boost my total sales revenue, it wouldn't be the total size of the pipeline. It wouldn't be the average size of opportunities. It wouldn't be the duration. It wouldn't be the average age of opportunities. It would be the win rate because that's the thing in most businesses that would have a most dramatic impact on total sales revenue an improvement in the win rate here's an up here's a dashboard chart that measures the win rate it measures it in two ways month to month the blue column shows us the win rate in terms of the number of opportunities and the green column shows the win rate by total amount of opportunities the total value of opportunities so I'll show you how to create this dashboard chart and the underlying report that drives it so there's the report and it shows us uh, it shows us by individual salesperson from month to month it shows us for example that Dave Apthorpe has closed 273,000 pounds worth of deals in March but he's won £123,000 worth of those. Therefore, his win rate in terms of the value of opportunities is 45%, and his win rate in terms of the number of opportunities is 33%. So I'll show you how to create that report, and I'll show you how to create the, the chart that accompanies the report and which we've displayed on the, the dashboard you saw a moment ago. So the starting point actually is not the report. The starting point is to create a custom field on the opportunity object. So here I'm in the configuration area. These are all the standard fields in Salesforce. And here is a custom field that I created earlier. So we called it amount one. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but call it something like amount one because it's a formula field. And what the formula is doing is saying, well, if the opportunity is set to one, place the total amount of the opportunity into this custom formula field. So if the opportunity is one, then put the amount into this custom formula field. And we're going to use that formula field in the report in just one second. I'll paste the actual formula into the blog post that accompanies this video. So you'll be able to retrieve it from there. But as I say, it's taking the total amount. If the opportunity is one, it's taking the amount and putting it into this formula field. And I'll show you why that's important. Because so this is the conversion rate report. It's a matrix report. If, you, if you're not sure how to create a matrix report, have a look at some of the videos that we've created earlier and show you how to create a, a standard opportunity matrix report. In this case, it's showing the opportunity owner down the left hand side and the close date across the top let's just drill into the configuration area for the report the first thing to notice is that we're in terms of the status we're taking all closed opportunities not closed one or open we're taking closed opportunities so that's really saying give me give me opportunities that closed in the month doesn't matter whether they're closed won or closed lost. I only want closed opportunities, won and lost. And you can see in this case, we're, we're in terms of the time scale, we're taking deals that have closed in the current and previous quarter. So set the time scale to whatever is appropriate for 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 your report. But take the take the closed opportunities. And when we look at the report, we've got these these numbers here. Let's have a look at this one here. So this is telling me that John, in this month, has closed £70,000. Now, to get that figure, he's totaled closed £70,000, all I'm doing is I'm pulling in the standard amount field. So I found the amount field from the left-hand side, and I just dragged it onto the report, and that's just the standard amount field. So remember, I'm taking closed opportunities. So that's telling me that John, in this month, closed £70,000 worth of opportunities. That contains both won and lost opportunities. He closed £70,000 worth. Then I pulled in my custom formula field, the one I just created on the opportunities. That's this one here. I dragged it in from the left-hand side. That's my amount one. 
So this tells me that of the £70,000 that John closed in this month, he had won £20,000. So now you can see I can probably start to create a formula field from that to calculate the win rate in terms of the value of opportunities. And in fact, it's this formula field on the report here. So this is a formula. It's a formula within the report. It's not a direct formula field on the opportunity. It's a formula within the report. And so let's have a look at the formula itself. So it's a percentage. I set the the number of decimal places to zero. I'm not really too interested in the in the, uh, in the decimal places on the percentage. And I set it to report at all summary levels. So it's going to give me the win rate by individual salesperson. And here's the formula that we used. Again, I'll paste this into the accompanying blog post. It really says that's my custom formula field that I created on the opportunity. That's the amount won divided by the total amount. So that tells me that in this case, John closed £70,000, he's won £20,000, therefore his win rate in terms of the value of opportunities, that's the 29% that's been calculated for me in the report there. The figure above it, the 14%, that tells me he won 14% of opportunities by the number of opportunities. And to get that value, it's this metric here, it's this formula within the report, and we're simply using this function, this summary function within the report. So to get that summary function, I clicked on uh, it's a it's a percentage field again, summarising at each 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 summary level within the report. And to get this metric within the report, I clicked on summary fields. I went up to one, and I took the average. So it took me that metric there. So just to repeat that process, I clicked on summary fields went up to one and clicked on the average and that put that function in there for me. I'll just take those out of the report and that gave me this figure here. So that's the count, that's the one percentage by count, that's the number of opportunities that in this case John won for this month. Let's have a look at the report. So that tells me the key information from one month to the next the value of deals that were closed, the value of deals that were won of that closed amount, and the conversion rate, the win rate, in terms of both the value of opportunities and the number of opportunities. So that's the report. Here's the chart. On the dashboard, we're just pulling in the chart from the report. So let's just have a look at the structure of the dashboard chart. There it is. So we're using um, a histogram. And you can see there are two metrics being pulled into the dashboard chart. The first is the is the win rate by count. So that's the formula that we put into the report. That's the count percentage. And the second is the amount. So that's the second formula in the report. That's telling us the win rate by value of opportunities by amount. You can see we put it onto a separate, um, it's a combination chart, so it's shown as a separate column. I just tidied up the formatting a little bit. So uh, to put on the x-axis labels and uh, put the put the legend, that's the key, that's a bit, this bit here, put it below the chart and I set the chart to run below the report. Let's have a look. There's our report. And there's our underlying chart that we pulled onto the dashboard chart. So that's how you create win rate reports and charts for Salesforce dashboards. Have a look at the accompanying blog post. That's where we've posted some additional commentary about how to use this report and some of the pitfalls to watch out for as well. It's also where we've posted the formulas that we've used to create the custom formula field on the opportunity. And of course, if you'd like more updates on how to drive value from your Salesforce system, then register our website. It's www.garysmithpartnership.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.